the first thing that everyone, no matter where they're from, they want to look and they see a map of where they're from so that, uh, that knowing as much as one can about uh, Qatar on maps as, as, a, as a place name and also as a, as a, as a peninsula. Um, that was really, really important. So you can study these maps closely and read a lot about them and do more research and certain questions start to come. I, foremost among those, uh, even going in, was of course uh, looking for Qatar on maps. Because it was quite notable that why, don't, why do all these maps not have Qatar on them? Qatar from the earliest map that were known to the Greeks, Ptolemy, uh, around 150, I mean, they knew of Qatar as a place. So it occurs on maps that we have from Ptolemy's geography, which was written in about 150. But it's not represented as a peninsula. One of the first maps, which is really called the first modern map of Arabia, which was done uh, in Venice by Giacomo Gastaldi in 1548, you see a little kind of indication of peninsula. And Gastaldi probably got his information by uh, Portuguese sources, Portuguese travelers who were in the area. Uh, a later map as well uh, that was done by a Dutchman who was secretary to the Archbishop of Goa and basically kind of spied on them and took all the information of the charts and published it in 1596. So it's also derived from uh, Portuguese sources. And he's got Qatar as a place name and as a peninsula on, on the map. Then you really don't see it for, for, for a while. So the Portuguese were here. They, they traded throughout the area. Uh, they invaded Bahrain in 1520, 1521. You know, they had knowledge of the area and local knowledge. They'd been here. I mean, look at Google Earth, like I, I, I showed. And you can see how shallow the waters are around and how a lot of these shoals, reefs are actually, even with at low tide or above the water level. So I think, you know, a ship, especially the kinds of ships, the vessels that the British and the Dutch and the French were using, have much deeper drafts. They, sh they sit much lower in the water. You wouldn't want to go anywhere near it. So it would, you know, near those kind of dangerous conditions. In fact, one of the charts that I showed had, I, I, I pointed out how um, some of the shoals were named after the ships that ran aground on them, you know, but they were, they were named, so the, the waters were quite dangerous.